All right. Welcome to Shirley's Temple. Thanks for having me. Of course. How's your day been? It's all right. Not too bad. Up and down. I feel it. What did, what did your Friday consist of? Me, I woke up late because I went to sleep very late. How late? Like nine in the morning. What? Were you in the studio? Yeah, I was at like Sosa House. Oh, okay. And when you go to Sosa House, it's like no sleep. Uh, no. Is that why Tato didn't wake up? <laughs> probably. Yeah, that's that's probably why. Y'all were celebrating no glory, no? No guts, no glare. Yep. I ain't even mad. That's a big accomplishment we had to celebrate. Right. So just how did the evening go? When did it start? When did it end? I mean, it ended at nine, but. Yeah. When we started, we just like. We like, fuck it, we're going to just all get together. Because sometimes we don't all be together most right. of the time. So we like, we just going to all get together and celebrate. Right. So we went to the mall, just came out, went to the mall. What mall was open? Topanga. Topanga oh, Mall. Oh, okay. It's still open. But okay. It's like, what did y'all cough at the mall? Nothing, really. We was looking for certain stuff, but we ain't find nothing. Okay. It's like everything gone now. Yeah. So we just left. Went to go pick up some weed. Went back to Social Crib. Right. And just played the tape all the way through. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, can we just pause and talk about how purple and fire that weed is? Oh, yeah. This... Sorry. Shout out to Gasco LA. Yeah, this weed crazy. Only it's literally yeah. fresh. Yeah, this weed crazy. Right? Should I stink. fuck with it. That shit stink. All right, so y'all got the weed and you went back to the crib. What time was that? Probably like 9 at night. 9 or 10 at night. Damn, so 12 hours later, you went to sleep? You That's how it was. We get, you get at Sosa House, you probably don't go to sleep till 3 in the afternoon. Damn, who was all there? Uh, me, Sosa, Ball Out, Tato, um, Boss Moore, and like a couple more other people, just like a couple of close friends. Yeah. Just to listen to the tape if they haven't listened to it already. Right. Mm. Were you part of the uh, creative process on that? Because I know... Kind of, but not really. Because Tato, he crazy. You never know what to expect with him. Really? Why? You never know. He's just an unpredictable person. <laughs> Chief Keith too, right? Yeah, but Keith more linear. You could... Linear? <laughs> you could, like, you could figure him out a little bit, but... That's funny. Tato? Man, you What he be know. doing? Tato? Yeah. Man, he's just crazy. Nah. Like, this, like, how you miss an interview? Like, right, you... a 6 p.m. interview. Like, I did that on purpose. Because I, I know. That man, Tato, just crazy. The way he right. operates is just different. I don't know. You can't. Yeah. I don't know. Damn. But well, yeah. How long have you been known all of them? Mostly my whole life. Right. But just over the years, we didn't get closer, real close. We just, you know? Right. We didn't made it a family. Right. Like holidays, and we spend it with each other now. Sometimes we don't even go home to our family. That's beautiful, though. We just, you know? Yeah. Take all we get and run with it. Right. Well, just, you know, you're from Chicago, right? Yep. What was a young doo like in Chicago? Damn. <laughs> Different. I was like a sports player. Okay. I love the sports, but it was just so much trouble around. I couldn't focus on it. What sports did you play? I played basketball, football, just them two though. Right. I never really had a passion for baseball. I really. Yeah, I got you. It was all right, but it just wasn't my sport. How did you, like, when did music come into play for you? Young. Probably 2009, 2010, around now. Uh-huh. I would say before that. Because when we was young, me, Keith, my brother, and, like, my nephew, we had, like, a little little label going. Really? How yeah. old were you guys? We was young, probably 14. That's wild. 15. It was called Bang Bang Flintstone Gang. Oh, my God. And they was, like, the Bang serious. Bang Bang Flintstone Gang. Yeah. That was, wow. Sister came up with that. I don't know how he did it, but it was hard. We ran with it. How did y'all meet initially? You were all a mean backwood. You put the whole eighth in there? Yep. Damn. He's about to get high. <laughs> uh, How did we meet? Mm hmm Like, our family always been close anyway. Like, through mutual, mutual people. Yeah. But it's so crazy how I met Sosa. When we was little, 
you know, on Halloween, people shoot paintball guns and stuff uh, like that. Yeah. In Chicago, we throw eggs at people. Like, Stop. real eggs. And we went to a parkway, and we saw Sosa, and I hit him with an egg. Stop! And ever since then, we That's was close. That's hella funny. I swear. Where did you hit him? Like, where did the egg explode at? He was fast, so he probably, like, hit him on his leg. Oh, my god! But gosh. it hit him, though. So was he mad? A little bit, because we rolled off on the bike <laughs> laughing. He like, man, what the fuck? Yo, that's hilarious. After that, we've been tight ever since. It never... Right. It was crazy. So just bring us back to, like, like, did you know, did you guys know that he was going to be... You know, because Love Soso was just, like, a moment in time. Y'all really put <coughs> Chicago Drill on the map. Yeah. See, I wouldn't say that we knew, but I had a strong feeling. Because he was determined. Like, oh, when really? we was young... Bang Bang Flintstone name was like a real little baby label. Like, how yeah. did you even think of something like that to yeah. try to push it? Right. He made it something big, and we had artists on artists, probably 10 artists. So I'm like, damn, he got the he got the mindset for it. Right. He just needs somebody to shine a light on him. So but when did Glow Gang come into play? Probably, I'd say, years ago. Probably like five, six years ago. It was really Glory Gang, but... GBE, right? Yep. Yeah. But they abbreviated it from Glory Gang to just Glory Gang. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it was Glory Boys, Glory Gang. Right. I don't know. They just like abbreviating shit, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) We fast forward to 2020 and just like last night, like, how is it just, you know, one decade later, more than that, just. No, it's about a decade. It's just crazy. Yeah. I be thinking like, I be thinking it's still fake sometimes. Really? Yeah. That's cute. I'm like, damn. Because it's so much shit that we had to get through to get to this thing. Right. But shit, it's real. What was like the highlight from last night, you would say? The highlight? Tato, just Tato, period. For real? He's that just wild? Just Tato, period. Like, everybody was on Instagram Live. Oh. While, the, while the song blasting, while the mixtape uh-huh. on repeat. Yeah. He just going to every phone, just talking crazy, talking shit, <laughs> and five different phones. I'm like, man, this is not crazy. <laughs> Did you see that, Sophie? Damn, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. That was nice promo because we, we usually don't ever do shit like that. But Right. Yeah, I was fucking with it. This Why time. is it that you didn't drop all year? Get my business right first. You got to have your business right before you drop and just be all over the place. What does that mean? Does that mean like distribution and label yeah, type all shit? That, all what, that. You, what you working on? I'm working on a couple things, though. But I'm about to drop early next year. Early, okay. early. Probably like the first quarter. I feel like everyone's going to flood 2021 with like... Yeah, I got some shit, They're though. best shit. Because you got to. It's either go hard or go home right now. Right. Everybody looking. Right. You can't upset nobody. Especially That's me. That's interesting. After I took a whole year off, I should say. Right. I got to come on. Crazy, right? My lungs hurt. <laughs> you smoking the same thing? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. Do you, you don't smoke papers? I tried it. You'll try it? I tried it before, but oh. it's not really. I was having this conversation with someone last night. <laughs> what they saying about it? They were just saying how backwards you get that extra sting. Yeah, I think that's what and, you need. Though, a little but bit. it's like, in a sense, yeah. worse for you. I can't do papers. Though. Like you literally can't? I tried it, but it's not really. That's like, like my homegirl. I'm like, but it's healthier. I agree with that. I agree <laughs> with that. But there's like this... Like, when I smoke a backwood, I'm like, there's this, like, I like it. You know? Like, I understand it. Because it's better. Right. But papers Man. is healthier, though. But right. backwoods is better. Like, you tried it once and you were like, nah. I tried it a couple times. Because oh, Sosa, okay. he used to smoke a lot of raw papers. Oh, okay. They used to sit on boxes and such shit. Like, I, I think someone told me that. Yeah. He used to smoke, like. Wait, does he still eight. smoke? Yeah, he still smoke. Oh, he used to smoke what? Raw cones. Like, eight-foot raw cones. You. Oh. This long, you gotta hold him and fly. Why did I think he stopped smoking? <clears throat> Probably because it's not on the internet like he used to. Like oh, he, okay. Yeah. He no, nah, he can't stop smoking. No, nah. wait. Can we? Can, I want to gift him some weed. He can't stop smoking. 
Um, I'll get it to him, though, if you ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why does he hate interviews so much? Because they ask questions that he doesn't. That he don't want to ask. What What was like the worst one? Like, what made him stop? Like, why did he stop? I don't know. It was multiple, though. Really? Yeah, they be asking crazy shit like about this baby mom. Oh yeah, I'm not on that shit. Like, like him. but there are like real people out there that just you know fuck with like respect him for the music yeah. and stuff and want to yeah, talk. Yeah, but it's just the people that. Yeah. In the beginning, fucked it up for everybody. Right. To say, but he rather just not do nothing. Right. I feel like his team should know not to pitch <laughs> interview. Can I just tell you the story? I think it was his uh, release party at Penthouse. Yeah. I waited three hours and got five words. <laughs> and I couldn't hear two of the words. <laughs> I was like, That's what? Crazy. Yeah. It was, it was hilarious, That's though. That's crazy. Just what That's salsa for you, though. Right. Right. <laughs> That's salsa for sure. That shit's crazy. Damn. Um, real quick, how much do you smoke in a day? Probably an ounce, half ounce. Damn, a whole ounce. And people tell me that. I'm like, that's like a, a lot half of weed. Ounce. Okay. That's a big difference. But if I'm outside, like <laughs> mingling or moving around. Right. I say better ounce. Damn. Like studio time. And right. Going to events or right. hanging out. Yeah, I say about an ounce. Do you, does everyone roll for themselves? Yeah, everyone like smoke their own blunts. Like they don't pass. When you roll, you just got to smoke your own blunt and don't expect to hit somebody else's blunt. Especially with COVID. Yeah, but this was before COVID. Yeah. Like, so, so would tell you, like, if you try to ask him, like, let me hit your blunt. He'll show you the weed <laughs> and the blunts and be like, here, roll your own. That's hilarious. That's a, and this was way before COVID, like probably right, 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 right. three years ago. Right. Probably, probably longer than that. That's funny. I used to work at the radio station and um, I was getting out. Variety needed a quote and I had to in, in, ask an in, influential DJ. So I asked DJ Fally Fell, what is the sound or song of 2020? And he said for the song, Mr. Right Now by 21 Savage mm -hmm. in Metro. That's all right. Yeah. That's hard. I don't know why. I just thought that was so funny. Like, that's, <laughs> nah, that's the hard. song of 2020. That song's crazy, though. I why is 21 so hard? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I messed with 21. Right. I like, mean, him, we could. Cool. Yeah. Through my friend Herb. Him and okay. Listen that's... to the new song he dropped. I listened to it. I went, okay, I went on a run last night. I told mm -hmm. Sophie. I ran to Tato's album thinking I was prepping for today. Yeah. That didn't happen. And then after that, I listened to Statement like 20 times. Like all my friends, I'm like, y'all are yeah, asleep. Yeah, Statement Heart. Right. Everything he said though. What, what the fuck was all that shit though? What? Like what? The the scam, the news. Just a bunch of bullshit. Literally, it was bullshit. Yeah, a bunch of like false. Right. It's going to get cleared up though. Yeah. So that, that was Everything just... he's, he was saying was facts too. Like yeah. why would he do like yeah. that shit? That was his way of speaking on it instead right. of going to Instagram or any other platform. Right. He figured that was the best way to speak on it. Right. And you, I think you were at the video shoot, right? Yeah. How was it? It was hard. The he process was just like, was hard. talk about, like, he so. He all his cars out. Facts. Oh, cars? Yeah. Damn. Where was it? What part? Like. I think it was like Burbank, LA. Uh, really? Yeah, it was like wow. a nice little lot where we could put all the cars in. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many cars? Like seven. Damn. Yeah. Wait, that's crazy. such a vibe. Let me just pull up my seven cars to this video shoot yeah. so that the world can see. Because he was saying they say he do fraud. He had to show him. Right. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't I even think about it that far. Right. Whatever y'all think he's doing, it, it can't get you that far. That's cr literally the news can like just take something and... Blow it out of proportion. Right. That's wild. That's crazy. Right. What the internet could do. Right. Like, how much does that affect? Because I know, you know, he struggled with mental health. Yeah. Um, and a huge focus of this show is mental health and just like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how did he deal with that? I mean, obviously he put it in the music, but. You know, he, like that shit can, that shit. Yeah. I see one negative comment and I'm like hurt. <laughs> That's you feel me? me? But I guess he used to negativity now. It was this. 
Right. He been in the spotlight so long. It's just so much shit that come out the blue. Like, right. wow. Where did this come from? Like, right. Where did this come from? Right. I guess he know how to cope with his problems now because it really didn't, it really didn't phase him. Either. Yeah. Probably because he know that the shit was false. And right. Fake, or it's just, he just, I don't know, he know. Right. I don't know. How, like, how long have you, like, what is it like seeing his, like, could you hope, I feel like, like, he really is about the music and like, he got diehard fans. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. fuck everything else. I feel like yeah. that's so valuable in itself. But yeah, yeah, it is. Like, he did it. He had a slow process, but it turned out good in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out. Like, he's just a lyrical rapper. No facts. They be like, damn, G. Herbo can't make a catchy song and all Listen. Nah. But he's just hard. He, he's super hard. They got to just listen. Yeah, that's they do. Y'all got music together? Yeah, we got a couple songs together. I say four or five. Okay. There's going to be two of them on the I was going to say, that that's exciting. Me and him got one that was on the last tape. On his tape? No, nah, that was oh, on my last oh, tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, Called 19. It was, yeah. Really, it was crazy. I was getting booked all in Chicago. For course. real? Yeah. How was it? It was nice. It was all right. It was <laughs> a nice experience. Right. But it wasn't nothing, too, because I already been there with them. Right. I already... But it was nice. Yeah. That's why me and him got to put together another one. A right. Crazy one. Damn. How was it just with you guys, young in Chicago? When did y'all? It used to be crazy. Had me and him, like, came from, we used to go to high school together. Came from pissy hallways. What? For real? <laughs> I swear. He's so hard, you guys. I swear. I literally loved you. <laughs> it was just crazy. We used to have, like, we was bad as fuck. We used to have night school. We used to get out of night school, go to my house, try to figure out how we finna patch up money for weed. Just What? That was our everyday routine. <laughs> That's Weekends, crazy. Weekends, we go to the studio. He do his song. I'm just in that supporting. Wow. That was our everyday. Damn. I mean, were you rapping then? Nope. When did you start? I was rapping back when Sosa had the label, uh, but I wasn't like really hard like them. So yeah. they was taking it serious. Yeah. Sosa, my brother, my nephew, and a couple more other people, they was taking it real serious. Right. I'm just there, because these my peoples, I got to be here. So they'd be like, man, go put a, a verse on this song. Go on here. Yeah. I'm like, fuck it. Uh, Might as well. <laughs> But I, I won't. I ain't never take it serious as them. Damn. Do you, what, what? What? What did you care about then? Sports. Oh, okay. Sports. I was big on sports. Okay. Do you miss sports at all? Nah. <laughs> a little. I played nah. sports a little. too. A little. What sports you play? I played basketball. I Is played volleyball. Uh, we sucked, so I was on varsity. <laughs> Bro, we literally were trash. Yeah, and I was so scared when he would put me at point guard. I was so terrified. Why are you scared? Because I always felt like they were going to steal the ball. But like, you look like a good point guard. Really? Thank you, man. That's the best compliment I've gotten all year. And like you would make a good decision. Like you were a good decision. I was, I, I was, I was, like I could, what I was good at was stealing the ball. Oh, yeah. But then I would miss the layup. <laughs> At the end. So I get it. You were yeah. de a defensive player. Yeah. Know. And then I was like bench for attitude. I was not. Oh, yeah. that was, was my problem too. Really? I had, I had an attitude problem. That's. <laughs> yes. Me, that's why I couldn't keep going. It's like I right. get super pissed. I'm right. Like, and then you the were just coach. all pissed on the bench. Bro, I feel you. That's why sports couldn't work for me. Right. Did you want to be like in the NBA type shit though? Hell yeah. That was everybody's job. Right. Damn. That was everybody. Right. But I face reality like, nah. <laughs> People like, like us ain't making it to the NBA. Damn, don't say that, though. But that was just reality. In you my say that and the people around you all became superstars in music. <laughs> You're right, but right. if you was in that same environment I was in, right, right, right. I got you'd probably you. be thinking the same shit, too. Like, damn, we not going to be able to do this shit. Right, right, right. Might as well just stop dreaming. Right. Damn. So how is it just being where you are? Like, how how do you feel? I feel like it's a very blessed situation. Yeah, I feel blessed for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't say any other thing but blessed. 
Yeah. I could be anywhere else. Right. I know friends that's locked up, dead. Right. All types of shit. Right. I probably know some friends that's homeless right now. Damn. But shit, yeah, I'm blessed for sure. That's one thing I would can say. Right. Uh, yeah, I was just actually talking to Vic Mensa because he's doing a lot for Chicago. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, him and Herb had got together like oh, a couple yeah. months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And passed out food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? That was nice. That was real big. Yeah. That was real big. What did it mean for you guys just to do something and not have to have to worry about like, you know, it's literally for the love. It feel different because we right. never really did nothing like that. Like, Really? That never, big? No. Nah. That's crazy. I heard I always wanted to do stuff like that, but he just had to get around the right people. Right, right, right. Put it together. Right. So ever since the PTSD stuff has been emerging. Right. Opportunities just been coming. Right. And he's just been, you know. But he got a school that he right. passed out for. I heard that in the song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He he got a school he bought a couple months back. That's like crazy. A year. Yeah, go. That's dope. Yeah, that's hard. I feel like that's literally the most meaningful shit out of Hell yeah. your career. Like about school, that's right. a different type of shit. To give back to your Yeah. So also your um I know you got Uzi on the last project. Yeah, yeah. How did you end up in Philly? Uzi, that's like my real I knew Uzi for a long time. Before everyone else? Like around probably everyone else, but me and Uzi always click. We always just talking I love about Lil somebody. Uzi. You he, always talking he, about somebody? Yeah, he just crack jokes on everybody. <laughs> he gonna give nobody no break. And we just always clicked because we always had something funny to say about somebody. Like, what? Damn. It was him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but yep, Uzi was in LA. And he just hit me like, bro, I'm at the studio. Pull up on me. Uh, yeah. I'm like, bet. But we never did no song like until. Six months later, after we didn't been to almost every city together, we never thought about music. Right. So one night, I had a Sosa beat, and I was playing it. I was yeah. just listening to it. He like, man, we about to do that beat. I'm like, man, this ain't the whole beat, man. We, not, we, <laughs> we can't do nothing with this beat. He called Sosa right now and get the whole beat. We Are you serious? It. I swear to God. That's I'm bad. like, damn, man, this thing just put me on the spot. Like, right. <laughs> There's all these people in the studio. I'm right. Like, Fuck. <laughs> now I got to call him for real. I call him. He answered first <laughs> ring. I'm hoping he wasn't going to answer. Right. He answered first ring. That's hilarious. He sent the beat over. <laughs> and we did it right then and now. That's crazy. Yeah. How, what was the energy? Because I know Uzi can record like a motherfucker. What? His recording process so different. Right. What is it like? It's, I don't know why it's different with Uzi. He make things more easier. Yeah. Yeah, he make it real easy. Like, that's probably one of the easiest persons to record with. Damn. He made the song just flow. Just no problems. We did the song probably 30 minutes. Probably. Damn. Like, yeah, probably 20, 30 minutes. Right. Yeah. That's how did, crazy. How did y'all meet initially? Just seeing his um, career too. In Atlanta. Oh, okay. Like her manager used to mess with his manager. Mikey? Was, Mickey? Mickey. Mickey. Okay. You know I, mean? like, I always call Mickey. him Mikey. Yeah, Mickey and Don yeah. Cannon, they was real close. Oh, okay. Wow, Mickey out here. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, I met him with her. Then I met him with Keith again. After that, we just always kept in touch. We just never, you know? Yeah. Social media, Twitter, Instagram, we just kept in touch. Right. Then Sosa ended up pulling up on him to do the song. The um, Kobe Ben Bryant song. There. Oh, shit. Yeah, I pulled up with, with Sosa and they did the song. I just was in there fucking with him. He steady fucking with me. I'm like, damn, uh, uh, this shit crazy. You low key ain't hard that shit. Mm hmm, that shit hard. Right. I ain't gonna lie. After that, we just been locked after that, though. Yeah, what are, like, what are you most excited about? This tape that's about to drop now. Oh, okay. What do, is there a name? I can't leak the name right now. Okay. But it's okay. a name, though. It's hard. It's just a different flow than the first yeah. body of work. It's all different. Just like yeah, more heartfelt type songs and shit like that. Speaking your life. Yep. How that feel? It's a process, but yeah, it's hard. But 
So. You're around some real spitters, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I just got to perfect my craft right. at the end of the day. All right, last question. How's the gas come in L.A., though? Shit fire. <laughs> I probably need to get up with you another day and get yeah. like a, a zip an ounce or two. Right. <laughs> for real. I got more for you, for real. For real. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you.